that you voted against the bill that gave the money that you then signed a check for. Okay, sometimes These are I vote bills. and sometimes I don't. You voted against the Chips and Science Act, right? Listen, that was, I think, last cycle. I cannot really remember right now, but. This might be one of the funniest clips we've ever had on the channel. Republican Maria Salazar gets brutally fact-checked by Jim DeFeed, DeFed, sorry for any mispronunciations, but he calls her out about a phenomenon we've also covered on the channel where Republicans will vote no on a bill that ends up getting passed through and then try to take credit for the funding that it gives to their district. Now watch how awkward this quickly gets for Maria who just has no answer really. Last month you were at FIU and you presented a check for $650,000 to help small businesses at FIU, but you voted against the bill that gave the money that you then signed a check for and handed and had a photo op, the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2023, right? You voted against that bill. I, I, right now, you have to give me more details, but I do know that every time I have an opportunity to bring money to my constituents, I do so. I well, just did four, four hundred thousand dollars. But look, well, let's you, go. but you voted against you voted against the Chips and Science Act, right? Listen, I, right now, I need to I need to ask my staff. But you know, what do no, we look you, at the forty million dollars that I have brought to this community? No, what's, what's, Aren't you proud of me? Aren't you proud of the forty million dollars that I brought? But how much? But how Aren't you much? proud that I wrote the Dignity Act? Haven't I? Aren't you, let's talk about the Americas Act. Wait, wait. Okay, we're going to continue because he gets to that forty million she's talking about, and let's just say it gets worse. But look how quickly she goes from just feigning ignorance to freaking out and panicking, like, "Oh, what about this bill? Let's just talk about this one instead." And the Amer America's Act is just some vague trade agreement with South American countries, so it's not at all relevant to this conversation. It's just deflection, deflection. Her PR team is probably in the back punching the air right now in frustration. The $40 million that you bring back to the district, sometimes that money comes from bills that you voted against. You voted against the CHIPS Act, and yet you praise the fact that the South Florida Climate Resilience Tech Hub is going to be started in Miami, right? You voted against the infrastructure bill and you talk about all the money that comes back to the airport. So at the same time that you're taking credit for the money that you bring back to the district in Washington, you're voting against these projects on party line votes. Listen, I, that was, I think, last cycle. I cannot really remember right now, but just look, let's look at the America's Act, which is what I'm going to, which is so what I wanna, like. you don't want to explain why I, you I vote really against cannot, things. I mean, right now, and I'm not trying to be a politician, there's so many bills that I've introduced that I know that no, no, many of them these are bills that you voted be, against. The, that I understand. And, but they, it's, okay, sometimes I vote bills. and sometimes I don't. This is hard to watch. She's just like, I can't remember. It was last election cycle funding for my district. Haven't seen any, but let's talk about this America's Act. You know, I'll vote for that, I promise. This is just wonderful journalism here from the host, and it's exactly how Congress members should be held accountable. Too often, they're willing to just vote along party lines, and in doing so, they're rejecting the exact aid that would help their constituents that are voting for that they then like to take credit for anyway. We watched on the channel how Mike Johnson, Lauren Boebert, they both have done this, but seeing someone do it and then get fact-checked in real time was just too good to pass up. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.